Good morning and welcome to Kirkstone Botanica. I'm just potting up the last of the lovely plants that we received from David Neville who is a grower on Southampton and he sells plants on eBay as Solent Guy. So if you want to check out Solent Guy on eBay UK you'll see a fantastic selection of plants um, at very good prices. The packaging is always excellent you always get a clearly written and described label but most of all the plants as I say are fantastic they're not offsets or cuttings they're always well developed plants with fantastic root systems now in this particular case we've got a real beauty a Neoporteria krausii uh, it's one of those plants that always attract my attention because it's a very dark purple body not green at all almost a blackish grey I would describe it as. Um, on these South American plants, Sulco Rebutia, Copia Poa, that have this dark coloration, always jump out at me. So we've got a, a smallish pot, square pot as usual, so they fit together more efficiently on the staging. I put about half an inch, maybe less, of PT based, in this case, Jack's Magic compost in the bottom. I've mixed in some grow more with that to my, my normal system and I've added slightly more grit to the mix so it's about 50% grit, 25% uh, coarse sand and 25% uh, actual compost, Jack's Magic compost. You can use any compost, Levington's, John Innes, anything that you get from a supermarket, a garden store, a general dealers, it will be fine. So I say we've got this plant here which has got a very strong developed tap root and then some finer roots underneath and it looks as if it's sitting in the pot pretty much where I want maybe we'll just add slightly more compost to that mix and then we'll take our neoporteria and we'll balance it nicely in the pot I'm just making a slight depression with my finger so that the point of the roots will sit in there and that's pretty much where I want it. Now I'll make sure that's exactly centered in the pot. Okay, follow my normal routine. So we've got a catching receptacle. Then we've got our 50-25-25 compost mix. And we'll just fill in around the plant. And as I've said before, I don't normally tap down soil. It's just not my habit. But in this case, I absolutely definitely won't. Because this is a plant that requires good drainage and plenty of air around the roots. Now these neoporterias can grow in the South American desert in conditions which are difficult for a lot of other plants, even other cacti. So they don't receive a lot of rainfall. I mean, the Atacama Desert, where some of these cacti grow, has one of the lowest rainfalls in the world. So I won't fill the soil too high because I don't want the compost to get anywhere near the body of the plant. So I've got about a third to a half of an inch around the bottom of the plant where there's a space and then I'll just take some coarse grit, horticultural grit, and then I'll fill up. Now, as I've said before, this topping not only aesthetically looks good, it's something attractive to look at, and it sort of looks deserty. And cacti always look good in grit. But more importantly, it stops the top of the soil from washing away. So, geometrically accurate, and there's our Neoporteria potted up, ready to go on to the staging with the other Neoporterias, smaller growing Copiapoa, Silco Rebutia, and others. So, there's David Neville's plant label going in, and we're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Another potting video from Kirkstone Botanica, another addition to the cactus family on the show bench there, and 
do please keep following, watching, subscribing, commenting. Some good still photos of this will be going up on Instagram and on Facebook later. Bye bye from me, bye bye from Neoporteria Krausei, and keep on growing. Bye for now.